Right hand award now to Pastor Amadeu of Vila Velha, Brazil. Pastor, peace of the Lord, Pastor Amadeu. I miss the all the brethren. I don't miss shopping in America now. I miss you. You may have noticed through the message, through the meetings, that there has been repetition or uh, or reaffirmation of messages of what is going on. So the Lord, like the message today and other messages, there is being very old, but being reapplied with a special connotation, which is the moment in which are living. So we I'll read with you. You may have heard this message many times. We we'll speak a little bit of this message on the letter to Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians 6. Lord of Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians 6. Taking the the shield of faith with which you can erase all the attack of the enemy and the word of the Lord. Very well. Of course, that you have always seen the emphasis that Paul gives to the illustration of the soldier. He liked to speak a lot about the illustration of the soldier. In many biblical texts, he speaks, and even expect, actually at the end of his ministry, he speaks about it, that we need to act like the soldier. But here, there is an interesting thing. The way he describes on, on chapter 6 of the letter to the Ephesians, the description of a soldier was equipped for the battle. So a soldier with all with his uniform, with everything that the soldier used in order to go out to battle. So so soldier needed to have this equipment. So he used so he had an entire structure. And Paul describes the Christian, the Son of God, as a soldier with the equipment like this soldier of course he's using the illustration of a, a roman soldier because what paul knew was paul was living inside of the roman empire the government that took control of everything there of the entire region all the world at that time it was all they were all subject to the roman empire so when he describes the this illustration of the soldier he describes, uh, he illustrates with the Roman soldier. So in this, on this equipment of the soldier, there are a few things that the soldier had that were uh, fixated. So he had to have girded waist. So they were like something like a shoe. Uh, they were something to give stability to their backbone, so they had would have better stability for the for the battle. Girded ways, so it also speaks about the helmet. He speaks about the sandal on the feet. So he describes all of this. The the chest plate of justice, so the chest was protected. So now. And all of this, 
he speaks two elements of the soldier that are mobile. They are not uh, fixated on the soldier. They are not affixed on the soldier. Soldier. There are parts that the soldier has that he has with his own ability has to work with these two elements, which are the shield and the sword. The soldier works with the shield and the sword. The shield, uh, see, he's using the illustration of of the Roman soldier. So the shield of the Roman soldier was different from the others that were used by other armies in at the time. The Roman sh Roman shield was, has had a, a couple of characteristics. They were highly prepared for the battle. They dominated the world for seven hundred years. And they were so the called legion Roman legions and even the American army is based on this on this organization. So when uh American fleet has the power of an army like the Italian legions, so each Italian legion of the Roman Empire had the power of an army, of a nation. So when they they would send it to uh a region of the east they would they would send a legion so it's a complete um, uh, army prepared so the shield had an important characteristic because it protected the entire body it would go from the neck all the way to uh, almost the entire uh, sh uh, sheen of the the leg so it had it had uh, a curvature on the on the edge of the shield, and this was very interesting. Very interesting because, for for example, if they were attacked, and the enemy was entrenched, and they were in open field, what would they do? You know what they did? They would put together their shields. And those shields would lock into one another, forming a uh, one large shield like a, a turtle shell. So then, under it, they were protected. So was this shield was very interesting. So it was a heavy shield. So the soldier needed to be prepared to carry it, and the shield there was an element of defense, and the sword, a weapon of attack. So look what Paul says here that is very important for us in every moment, especially in the moment in which we are living. He says the following. Taking on, above all, the shield, shield of faith. So the shield of faith. So the shield of faith. So you're not going to attack with the shield. You're going to defend yourself. So the shield of faith with which you can uh, protect yourself from every flame darts of the enemy. So you have two statements that you can make regarding the um, flame arrows. It can be an uh, arrow with uh, fire, or you can also that something that was used sometimes. It's like they would call darts, where they're small small little ar arrows but they were poisoned the effect of killing didn't even have to heat a vital organ just a contact with the blood was sufficient to kill the person so he states there that the shield of faith so then inside of all this apparatus he speaks about the shield how does it comprise? So the faith that we are speaking about here is the faith that we the preach about all the time in our services, in our doctrinary services, the faith of the redemptive work. It's not the faith of the creative work, the, the finite faith it is linked to man's time, which is Kronos, but is of the redemptive work. So this faith, as stated in this way, was the faith that God mentions about Abraham. 
So in other words, what happened to Abraham? The entire what through the entire process of Abraham, God called Abraham the father of faith. So what happened with Abraham? So he gets out of the land of his uh, family and he goes to another land, obeying an order from the Lord. So the redemptive faith is interior. It was not generated by you. It comes from eternity, goes through your life, and this faith has a life. This faith you do not transmit to A, B, or C. It's personal, it's yours. So Paul said that he fought his battle and kept his faith. So his faith was his, what God placed in his life. So what is this? does this faith do? So this faith is what leads the Christian to have an identity with eternal life, and not for this life. So what happens? What are the darts? The darts can be many. We'll leave a moment. Like you may say this, the people sometimes they question, "Is that common?" I remember a sister. She kept asking about her husband. Her husband was a high-ranked uh, man from the company Vale do Rio Doce in Brazil. He was he earned a lot of money. So one day there was a little problem on the company. It was her pastor, and she kept asking, Oh, Lord, why? Making those prayers in the, in the group meetings. Oh, Lord, why that? So, see, so sometimes the Lord, was, when you go through risk, you, you end up uh, losing your success. So I told her, what is being thrown into our mind is a, an arrow from the enemy. He came come in many different ways. Have you already noticed? Let's pick up the brands that have a spiritual gifts that are used by the Lord in prophetic service. On prophetic service, these brethren that have spiritual gifts, what happened? When they got out from home, every time that the everything that precedes that depart from home uh, the enemy may close their mouth as soon as they get out of home why is that because the dart it was sent was the dart of a, an argument or a problem so a topic that had, should not have been discussed at that moment but why is that because the the enemy oppresses the person in, when he goes to the church a person with gifts he goes there and his mouth is closed and it can happen also with the pastor sometimes a problem with a son or a problem that rose up a prominent work so it is all done to remove you from the presence of the Lord so those are the darts that are sent and you have to have an ability to pl to plead to the blood of the Lord so that through faith which is the direction of the Holy Spirit to your life may erase this dart flaming dart that is 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 sent to bring harm to your spiritual life Oh, and may say, oh, what happened? Why it happened to me? Why did I lose my job? Why this virus that is out there? But through faith, what happens? You are led to a direction by the Holy Spirit. Because not, the Holy Spirit, the Lord's not going to allow anything to be lacking in your life. But He He, he speaks to you. So the moment, a moment in, when, in which we need to exercise our faith. So then you might say, oh, this is coming like this. Oh. This is very common. Oh, Pastor, I'm, I'm like this situation because the sister said this or, or that. So then you have something that is very important on the life of the Christian. It's very important now. We've had many experiences. Just so you can have a, an idea, we've never had so much, so many experiences with, of the Christians in open the Bible. It, it felt like the Christians of our church had stopped consulting the Lord with the Bible. And all of a sudden, on the, when they were struggling, the Lord speaks with them in a wonderful way. You were really amazed. A sister opens up the Bible uh, this week. She told me an experience that was interesting. And then the enemy goes and makes an accusation. She opens the Bible, and the Lord says, It's a lie. It's amazing. I never saw this in the Bible. So see, 
the spirit of lie it's it's there the faith the time for us to use it the shield of faith and to be able to manipulate the sword which is the word of god it's a living word it's going to direct our lives in this moment we need to understand i always say that i've said this before in other meetings meetings we are in a work of the Holy Spirit that is prophetic. It's prophetic. Look, Ronilda and you who are here, what a great battle you have to go through for people to accept the satellite. What a battle we had. People use and even use um, uh, lowbrow expressions. They would say that I don't like. Uh, a satellite in a in a, a silly way. Today we are being complimented by uh, the press and the entire Brazil and TV channels. They're they're contacting us. Nobody was able to do this like we are doing because the Lord has prepared us for this. In the beginning of last year, when the Lord gave the instruction revelation about the 90 days when all of this happened there so we are living in in the work of the Holy Spirit where the direction of the Holy Spirit is important we live by faith oh people say oh we live by faith but the the righteous live by faith what is the faith is the direction of the Holy Spirit is what sustain us so the soldier at this moment we're soldiers what can we do now we have been prepared for this so that trial comes my brother my brother use the shield which is a faith manipulate the shield and use the word which is a sword in order to attack and you see you'll be able to overcome all the trials and difficulties the lord wants to reveal himself to you this is the most important point for us sometimes you may say this the osama says something oh tell to him let's consult the lord Oh, the son wants to do this, so, so let's consult the Lord and see in the Word. It is time now. Faith is direction from the Holy Spirit. When faith, so when the attempt of the enemy to destroy faith, there in Pergamos, the faith comes from the Holy Spirit in the church of Pergamos. So the exercise of faith. So you had there on the third letter of Pergamos, your enemy is attacking faith and the enemy struggles to destroy faith. Faith is not believing. Faith, believing is something else. The enemy also believes. But faith is some, is grace. Faith is the Holy Spirit. Faith is what moves us. So we have a dynamic faith in our lives. So faith moves us. So that's why salvation involves a free will. Why is that? Because you have to use the faith by grace you are saved through faith so the faith is dynamic so the shield of faith is dynamic in order to protect you so that you may get rid of all this so direction of the holy spirit so faith is direction of the holy spirit and at this moment you need to be directed by the holy spirit and the word which is the shield so you have to defense and attack so with this we'll be able to go through this difficult moment that we are now so that you have an idea of course, we're going through a moment it's very difficult of losses, of course. It is difficult. But when you have pleaded to the Lord, the Lord has given a deliverance. But there is a struggle. But look at something interesting. We've had a couple of churches in Italy, 13, 13 churches in Italy, who lost one person in that, that calamity. Of course, in Brazil, you have a larger population, but what are we doing? We're praying to the Lord. The church are, are gathering and interceding because the moment now, look how interesting it is. The Dutch has said this. He has, has spoken about this and he's been criticized a lot. No, we are not preaching like crazy preachings. No, the moment is grace. The word is important, and the word needs to be revealed. 
the word is to reach an objective, but we live in a moment which we need to leave the grace operating in our lives. So this is what the Lord has done for us in these days and helping us. So we are going through a period now. Of course, things are, are going to accommodate, but it is difficult. I've been at home for two months here. My husband and I, my daughters, they got married. You cannot get in touch with the grandchildren. They call us old people or get all upset about it. <laughs> the youngest called the other one and criticized the other one and saw the message later on. You cannot do this. Our parents are elderly. Oh boy, I was so upset when I saw that. This part of our struggle here. Mommy and dad are elderly. Oh, I'm, I'm not elderly. Elderly who are new, who can, but not me. But that's all right. So we're going through this. What can we do? We have to understand. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. Very well. So, see. At this moment, what is important is exactly this, is to be here. That is here. We need to use the weapons that the Holy Spirit has given us. There's, there's not time for panic in the moment of difficulty. This is a time for us to use faith as a shield and move this by the direction of the Holy Spirit in the Word. The Word also defends us. The, the, the sword is defense and attack, but the shield is only defense. So, can you use this tool? We can, could even speak about the other ones. You can see the following. The shoes on the feet, uh, the preparation of the gospel, is walk on the path. Girded ways is, is to be in the revelation. Having a breastplate of justice is to be made righteous. Is the one who's born again. So it's all in this. But we're going to speak specifically about the sword and the shield that we're going to use at this moment, which is important. From this coming week, a couple of things are going to be modified also regarding the message. But we are going back. We don't want to. We don't want to preach about new things. Our objective is to use these things in order to feed the people and maintain the people active. Because sometimes you forget things very quickly. Amen, my brother. My brother. Thank you, Pastor Mando. Go back to the doctrine. I'm at your disposal. I'm at home. I'm not doing anything. We're going to have more other, other opportunities. Amen. I'm going to... A, we're going through a new phase of means the money. We're going to go through a more intensive period. We're going to have a passage from outside, more people. Very good. We cannot stop. Amen. Let's hear another song of praise.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. The spiritual gift, have you already shared the spiritual gift? No, not yet. If you want to share and give it the discernment, so here I saw a house. The kitchen had food that had not been had prepared yet. I saw a woman that was hungry, but she was too tired to cook. But at the end of the service, she received strength in order to go out, cook, and prepare the food. This is spiritual, of course. If that situation you have to have to use, it is what is being preached there. It's about fire. The food is to go through the fire. It's the revealed word. It's all of this. It's all part, but using the Bible now as a food. It's not only read the Bible. It's to plead to the Lord Jesus and open the word. It's a living word. That's what is important. If it's not a living word, you're going to read the Bible. No, no. You need to pray, plead to the Lord, open the, the Bible and allow the Lord to speak. The resources are out there. You just need to exercise faith, right? Exactly. A man went up on a, a step ladder, very uh, high inclination, but he got very tired and almost fell off. But a, 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 a powerful hand and a strong arm held him and helped him. His, and he heard a voice, you are chosen vessel, do not get discouraged. So the gift is almost literal. Climbing up, you have to climb up. It's, it's spiritual. Sometimes you get tired, discouraged because of the struggle, difficult moment, but when the pleading, the Lord is going to help because the Lord sustained us. The Lord will sustain us. I remember a statement from Pastor. Uh, he told me the phone. Maybe not just in the United States, you may not have heard it. But he said the following. No one that goes out on the street, you can see a beggar sitting on the on the sidewalk hungry. You can never see a person in this condition saying, oh, I'm a servant of God, I'm in this situation, I'm like this. You can find people like in this situation, but the servant of God in this condition would never find. Remember the text from David, Psalms. I was young and now I'm old, but I never seen the righteous uh, unprotected and he's the sentencing to beg for bread. So this is very clear. This is the word for this moment in which we are. Oh, the boss came out. Oh, you don't have luck down there? Oh, some people have to work, Pastor Madhu. But doesn't the airport close? No, it didn't close. Just diminished the flights. So here, Latan uh, has gone bankrupt. The, the tan has gone bankrupt. Oh. That lot may, be, may be purchased by Delta. We may, uh, all the companies may. <laughs> uh, I think the solution for Brazil is to decree war against the United States. If you win, we become American. If you lose, we also become Americans. So now let's pray. Lord, we pray to you and ask, ask for the wonderful grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be poured out with all of, all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. You are here at your disposal. Thank you, Pastor Madou. Thank you very much for, for your support. Amen. Peace of the Lord. My brethren, tomorrow uh, we're going to have a special service of glorification to the Lord at 8 p.m. The brethren that can, I'm going to send the link tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to have a service of glorification for everything that the Lord has done. We don't have service of glorification here, but tomorrow, according to the instruction of the Lord, we're going to have a service completely geared towards the praise with a word, without anything, only glorifying glorify the Lord for the blessings received, for the deliverance, for everything that the Lord has done. 
on behalf of the church, especially of our church here, for the people of God. Amen? To the brethren that desire prayer, you can look for us. We're going to be here at our disposal. We're going to pray for Mariana. She has a birthday today. So before we open up our microphones, hand it over to the brethren. Let us once again close our eyes. Let us ask Pastor Sabri to pray for Mariana. It's her birthday so that the Lord may give a blessing. Deacons also, let's pray with lay of hands. Amen. My Father, now glorify your holy name. We praise the Lord. We're thankful, Lord, for the grace, for your love, for your mercy, for your help. To your servant, Mariana, for the deliverance, the sustenance, for the experience that we have given her, for every day of her life. I want to thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Because she, she can also say once again, you have helped me to this day. Bless her as she turns another year. Praise the Lord for your servant, for her life, for her home, for her, for her family members. Bless be your name, Lord. We have done great things in our life. And continue blessing her life. We pray for this moment. So that she may continue having fellowship with you. And remain in your presence. Uh, bless the, our family members. As that your blessing may continue in her life in this new year. I want to praise for your holy name. For this servant. We pray in the name, holy name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mariana, congratulations. I had a vision. You can share, Marcus. So the Mariana had a tiara that she had already received from the Lord, and tonight this tiara was cleaned up and it was shiny even more. The hair of Mar Mariana was uh, arranged so that the hair would not cover the tiara. And after her hair was adjusted this way, the few decisions she needed to make, her mind would be cleared up so she would make this decision according to God. Everything that controls the thought, the will. So that's what it is. Uh, will needs to be the will of the Lord. Amen. So the gift is very clear. See, my friend, always seek the Lord. Always ask for the direction of the Lord in everything that you do. Amen. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Parabéns, Mari. Parabéns, Mari. Parabéns, Mari. Pai seu amigo, irmão. Pai seu irmão. Um abraço aqui de Patinga, Minas Gerais. Prazer. Deus abençoe os irmãos. Oi, Patinga. Que grande cidade. Pai seu irmãos, um abraço aqui dos irmãos do Panamá para os irmãos aí dos Estados Unidos. Amém. Pai seu Jesus. Pai Senhor, Zezinho. Até amanhã, gente. Pai Senhor, irmãos. Pai Senhor, Cris. Pai Senhor, irmãos. Pai Senhor. Parabéns, Maria. Parabéns, Maria. 